new videos every day. So what do you think of when you hear American food? For a while, it kind of confused me. What is American food? And I thought about it, and guess what I came up with? A hot dog. Nothing says America better than a hot dog. In fact, it's so American that at 7-Eleven, they sell over 100 million of them a year. So today, we're obviously going to talk about the all-American hot dog. But before we get into that, I want to play a little game with you. And here's the question. How many calories is a hot dog? And also, more importantly, how many of those calories are from fat? So would you guess that a hot dog is, you know, 10% fat? 40% fat, 50% fat, or higher. Go ahead and pause the video, put your comment as to how many calories and how many of those calories are from fat. And let us know and then continue watching from here. So when you normally think of the all-American hot dog, you associate it because of baseball games, and barbecues where you have hot dogs. Now, it's interesting to note that the names that we use to call hot dogs by, Franks, Wieners, things like that, actually originate from cities in Europe. For instance, the Frank comes from Frankenfurter, which is from a town, Frankfurt, in Germany. And also, when you think of the word Wiener, it stands for Wiener Schnitzel, which is short for Vienna Sausage, which is a town, of course, Vienna. Now, the word hot dog itself, you might wonder, why do they call it a hot dog? Well, that came actually because it was rumored that it actually had dog meat in it back in the 1800s. And on Coney Island, where they were selling these, it was such a problem for people that they actually passed a law that you couldn't call it a hot dog anymore. You had to call it something different. So that's where we get the word Coney Island from Coney Island, exactly. Joey Chestnut won the world record for the most hot dogs eat 66 in 12 minutes. That's insane. The longest hot dog there ever was was 60 meters, which is about 200 feet long. So how do they actually make hot dogs? Well, they actually use a process called mechanically separated meat, whether it be chicken or beef, where they have a butcher that has a bone and the rest of the meat that's left on there, they put it through this machine that uses pressure to scrape off and get everything, every little last little piece off of that bone. And then it turns into a paste where they actually then squeeze it into the shell. And that's what you're eating as a hot dog, basically the leftovers. At the beginning of the video, I posed a question. How many calories are in a hot dog? And also, how many of those calories are fat? What percentage? And I have right here with me the nutrition facts for an Oscar Mayer beef frank. 130 calories, of which 110 are calories from fat, which means of those 130 calories, 85% is fat. It's almost nine-tenths of the hot dog being fat. So let's say you had a piece of chicken, a steak, uh, various forms of meat, if you were to cut all the fat off of those pieces of meat and then put them in a pile, a fat pile, literally, if you were to look at that, you wouldn't necessarily go, ooh, yum. Or at least if you did, that'd be kind of weird to me. Um, but that's literally what you're eating with a hot dog. They, they take all that fat, leftover fat, and then they put it into a paste and texture it, process it in such a way that it actually tastes okay, uh, add some different chemicals to it and, and flavorings, and then that's what you get. You get a hot dog. So several reasons why hot dogs are not the best food to eat are, number one, the amount of fat that's in there. I'm a nutritionist, and I don't necessarily subscribe to a low-fat diet is what's good for Americans. However, there is an extreme. You don't want to have just all fat or 85% of your calories being fat, that's not good either. Uh, so to take it as far as extremes go, you know, unless you really need that fat, maybe you're really, really, really skinny and you're trying to gain a whole bunch of weight and you want to keep fat on, maybe you could do it that way. But in America, being that 66% of us are overweight anyway, probably not the best food for us to eat. 
Number two is the fact that it has a very low nutritional density. So you can imagine it's mostly fat, and because it's so processed, all those chemicals that are in there, it's just not really that good for you. It doesn't have any vitamins or minerals in there. They do add vitamin C to it, but the only reason they add vitamin C is because it has nitrates, and they've found that if you add vitamin C to a known carcinogen, it doesn't affect you quite as bad. One argument for how it could be okay would be the fact that it has protein. But considering out of 130 calories, 110 of them are fat, you get 20 calories of protein for every one hot dog, I think that there's better protein sources out there for you. On an interesting note, the fact that the meat is cured, they actually add a whole bunch of chemicals in there that basically make it so it won't degrade, which basically means that bacteria can't digest it. Well, if the organisms can't digest it, what does that mean about humans? Yes, it's hard to digest a hot dog. And then there are studies that show that cured meat actually affects the body. And in, in, in some studies show that it might affect even colon cancer. So it is not a good food for that reason. It's about as unnatural as you can get. I always like to present an alternative for people that really want or like that type of food. And the best alternative is probably getting some lean meat, chicken breast or whatever. You can have it ground or not ground, but something that's just not as processed as a hot dog. And then you can cook it on the grill and then put it on a bun, you know, if you really want to. Uh, the other thing you can do is they do make hot dogs that are, instead of being cured, they are actually just cooked. And they're generally found in the frozen food section. They have them at like Whole Foods, Central Market, places like that. Uh, and they're generally less processed. They have less chemicals and things in there. So those probably aren't as bad for you as the full-on nitrate, full, uh, quote, cancer-causing type stuff. So there's the skinny on hot dogs. If you found this information cool, make sure to leave comments, make sure to rate the video, and subscribe to this channel. We're always working to get more good information out there. And if there's other foods that you're interested in us uh, detailing, then uh, just let us know. And also, go to my website, www.nutritionaustin.com, where you can look and find out information about what I do in my nutritional practice. Um, and I'd love to work with you if you're if you're needing somebody. If you liked this video, we have hundreds of more alternative videos ranging from sexual health to psychology to mind control. So if you liked it, go ahead and click on me to enter the Psyche Truth channel.